Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth, Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, contraception. What is it? Is it part of the prohibition of the sixth commandment? Here, the Catechism doesn't seem to have a definition, so instead, I'll be referring to the dictionary for the definition of this term. Contraception is the deliberate use of artificial means to prevent pregnancy as a result of sex. So, is this a lustful action, and is it against the Sixth Commandment? Well, first things first. I've heard people refer to contraception as mutual masturbation, and I don't really see how this view can be denied. The three highest goods of sex, which we talked about in episode 100, are either not present in contracepted sex, or else are greatly diminished. Union with your spouse can't be a complete union if you're reducing the nature of the sexual act. In contracepted sex, the element of total giving of yourself to your spouse is completely lost, because it's not a total gift. As for procreation, this is precisely what contraception was created to prevent. However, putting all of that aside for a moment, contracepted sex is a lustful action. Why? Well, let's look at the criteria for lust. 1. Lustful decisions always involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex, such as pleasure, more than a greater aspect, such as unity with a spouse. In choosing to contracept, you reject all three of the greater goods of sex, as previously explained, in favor of mere mutual pleasure. Therefore, it fulfills criteria 1. 2. Lustful decisions always involve sex or sex-based motives on at least some level. Contracepted sex is still sex, therefore it fulfills criteria 2. 3. A lustful decision can be any action, word, or thought, as long as it conforms to these criteria. Contracepted sex is an action. It therefore fulfills criteria 3. So it follows that contraception is a form of lust, and as a result against the Sixth Commandment. The only way this would be different would be if you took contraception, then never had sex, but given that most contraceptives are essentially low-functioning poisons, it's hard to think of any reason why a person would do that. In fact, the very act of taking the contraception is rather like buying a Da Vinci painting and then scraping all the paint off. Sex, properly understood, is a high power, a great honor, and a preparation for an even greater one. A billion dollar gift from the Most High, and if you contracept, it's like saying, Thanks, but I'll just take a quarter if you don't mind. Next time, what's fornication? And does it fall under the Sixth Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.